If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you've been watching my videos for a long time and you haven't already subscribed, then maybe it's time to hit that button. I would really appreciate it. I'm now over 100K and I want to get to, yeah, 1 million. So let's see how long it's gonna take me to get there. So thank you very much if you do subscribe. The button should be down below. Thank you. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. And in this week's outfit of the week, I am going to be wearing all floral outfits. I'm gonna try my best. I think I've got enough <laughs> to last <laughs> the whole of the week, I hope so. Yeah, I do. Um, and I'm starting with this blouse, and it is a blouse that I have designed, pattern drafted, and also sewn. And yes, I have worn this before. The only difference really is going to be the feature on the side, which I'll show you in a moment, which I only discovered this morning, really, when I was getting dressed. It's like, oh, that's how that falls. Yes, that's how I'm going to wear it. And yeah, the jewelry that I've got with it is a smoked, it's a little part, it's smoked glass, um, and also earrings as well, which are smoked glass. And yeah, that's the only jewelry that I've got on. And the sleeves are statement sleeves. And I'm wearing black pants, and I also designed, drafted, and so those as well and you, you've seen these before as well i'm wearing wedges so that is going to be my outfit for today i'll just show you the back i've got my hair up in a bun or a top knot as they describe it and these little things <laughs> partially covering my face so yeah so i'll bring the camera down now so this is what i'm talking about here and um, there's a loop here in which to thread this through. So this section here would actually run through there. But when I put it on this morning, it just, I just like the way it trades. Yeah, so I'm thinking, yeah, I'll have that. I like it. So you can't really tell that that's there, or can you? Mmm. I'm not bothered, I like this. This is what I like and this is what I think draws attention to what I am wearing. And as you can see, these sleeves, gorgeous. And I'll just turn around, give you a little twirl. And then wearing bootleg pants. And I have wedges on. And the bag I'm going for is the bag I bought in a couple of times last week, which is going to be this one. Ta -da! Because it just picks up the smoke glass effect that is in my jewelry, hence the reason I went for this bag. So yeah, that is going to be my outfit for today. t-shirt and I've also made the skirt so that's what I tend to do I tend to make sure that when I'm doing my outfits of the week it's something that I've refashioned or something that I have made so the skirt is floral and um, I'm not a big fan of florals but I do have one or two items in my wardrobe and you know if I bought the fabric then obviously I like it for a reason but like I said I'm not a great fan and um, the skirt is very simple, it's an um, elasticated waist and I do have a video tutorial on how to do that so I'll link that below. So today my hair, I've kept my hair on twist, I twisted it last night and it looks neat-ish, yeah, um, so I'm not going to take them out, um, probably tomorrow because it probably needs to be taken out tomorrow. Um, I've only got one earring in, but you know what I'm like. I love asymmetrical earrings and I just can't find either one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I decided that I'm just going to wear one. It doesn't bother me. I enjoy it. It's who I am. And the t-shirt is a chocolate coloured t-shirt. And I'm picking up colours in my skirt for the reason why I'm wearing a chocolate coloured t-shirt in spring, summer. It's 
my trend and that's what fashion should be about it should be about your trend don't necessarily follow fashion if you don't need to and if you've got your own trend you should definitely be wearing it and i'm wearing lots of bangles so you're probably hearing me jingle about all day i'll show you my t-shirt now okay as you can see i just followed around the kind of like what you call the piping to the t-shirt and just cut that away just to create a much more interesting t-shirt and i put the seams to the um show to the sleeves so yes and it just comes to my waist there's the elastic and um, and here's the skirt as you can see there's lots of red tones and cream and brown hence the reason I took a colour from my skirt I could have gone with the reddish colour um, but I decided to go with brown and my shoes my shoes, uh, sandals and you would have seen these before I would definitely have worn them last summer and yeah so that's my outfit for today the bag I will be sporting today is going to be this one. It's really cute. I love this bag. I, this may be the first time you've seen it, I think. I don't think I spotted it that much last year. And it has an even shorter chain handle. So you could, I suppose you could put that on your shoulder, really, couldn't you? Yeah, a short shoulder handle. But definitely a hand handle. And this is what I'll be, this is how I'll be carrying it today. So that is my outfit for today. As you can see, it goes with my jewellery, especially with the frame, the, ham, the bag frame and the handle. And it matches up with the jewellery that I'm wearing and obviously with the brown tones and reddish tones. It matches up with my skirt. And it knows a mix match of patterns, but no, it goes really well. So I'm happy with that. So that is my outfit for today. Today's outfit is a long dress on the same fabric that I wore yesterday, the skirt, it's a viscose. And yes, it's long, it's something that I designed, patterned and made. Today it's a bit overcast, so even though I'll be in the house for most of the day, um, yeah, I will be, because it's I don't like showing off that much. And um, I'll be throwing a cardigan over my shoulders. And yeah, I've got very little jewellery on. Just got my necklace, which is love heart. So it's brown and my accessories are brown. I'm wearing the same shoes and carrying the same handbag that I was yesterday. And oh yeah, um, I did wear sunglasses yesterday. And they are these ones that I'll be starting again today, which I forgot, totally forgot to um, share with you yesterday. And I've taken my hair out of my twists. And yeah, so I'll show you the rest of my outfits in a moment. So the cardigan is going to be this chocolate coloured cardigan. I'm just going to throw it over my shoulder like so. I'll take it off in a moment so that you can see the back detail. But that's what I'm going to be looking like right now. And my bag is this one from yesterday. So the top is, it ties at the back into a bow and there's soft pleating front and I do have videos on how to do different types of pleats and I'll link that in the description below and elastic as well this is elastic to the design and it's elastic casing so I do have the a tutorial for that so also I'll link that too so yeah that's my design feature on my dress, which is all the way down to the floor, and then my shoes, and which is my outfit for today. I 
this is another outfit of the day, but this time I actually want your opinions. Because I am struggling with this a little bit, and it has to do with the fact of the upper part of the dress. Now you may recognize the fabric, yes, this is the same fabric that I wore on Monday or Tuesday, that blouse, I'll put it here so you can see. And this is the fabric that was left over from that blouse because I made that first, the design made that first. And the issue I've got with this one is here. I'm not 100% I'm not sure with the sleeves, so I'm just going to get closer. And you see that um, the sleeves, the nice sleeves actually, they're a cap sleeve, a rectangular cap sleeve. And if I just show you the front, this side, and also the back. And I think it's a neckline that I'm not too hundred percent happy with. Um, I don't know if I should take these straps away or should I bring them a little higher. Or maybe just have one, I just thought, that'd be nice. But I'm following through with this on the waist here. This tie belt that I've got, I love this. I think this is such a cute feature, it really, it really is. And what it does, it just keeps in these soft folds that I've got at the front of the dress. Now, I do love the hemline, I've just got to say, I love the hemline. It's, it's, it's cute, it's, it's gorgeous. I just like the way I've designed it, it really has worked. The person who doesn't like wearing dresses that much, I really do think this is probably one of my favourite dresses, well, the lower part of it, anyway, for sure. So I've got slits on the side, showing a bit of leg, make it a little bit sexy. And there's an asymmetrical look to it, I suppose. And the back is just straight. And I'll walk towards the camera so you can see how it moves. love to know what your opinions are when it comes to the neckline and possibly the sleeve. Put those comments below and I look forward to reading them. Oh, before I go, if I was going to put a back with that, it would be this clutch. I know it's kind of like an evening type clutch, but I would definitely wear this during the day if I had somewhere to go to. So that is my outfit for today. And I know I said I was sticking with um, floral dresses or any of my floral outfits that I have, but I broke the rule today. It's just a shameless plug, I've got to say. <laughs> and I'm wearing a t-shirt. And I'll show you this t-shirt in a moment. And the reason why I'm wearing this t-shirt is shortly I am going to be going live on my YouTube channel in which I'm giving away one of these t-shirts that I am wearing and I'll show you the other one in a moment and I just want to tell you about it because there's still enough time for you to go to my website colleenlee.com so colleenglee.com you go along there and there's a post about the t-shirt giveaway and just read that um, post and then just follow through what it's asking you to do and you still be able to enter the competition. So please go ahead and do that so you can understand why I decided that I had to show off my t-shirt. It's designed by me and it says so and glow. So I'm going to bring it down now so that I can show you. This is another way of wearing it. I showed a couple of ways of wearing it in um, previous videos and this is just a different way, but it's my cheapest anyway. So I'll bring the video, the camera down now. It says so up and glow. I'm hoping that it comes across that way. It's not back to front either, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, so like I said, I'm wearing it with jeans and put the belt on and these are uh, like what you call boyfriend jeans or hobby jeans and wear it with these shoes and yes and obviously I'm going to put a picture somewhere of me in this outfit so it's my sew up and glow t-shirt so this is part of my merch and there and if you're not a t-shirt person um you can always enter the competition, but I do have a store where I send my, sell my merch and if you want to go along to um, check that out, please do so. I will put a link to my merch store below this video. There we go, that's my t-shirt. <laughs>
my design teacher. And this is the second one. This is all I'm going to give away to one lucky winner. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing because it's going to be a lot more giveaways of this type. I will be designing a lot more um, merch as well. And the merch shelf will always be under my videos. So, if, you know, whenever you feel as though you need to buy something such a t-shirt or a mug or something, then please do think of me first. <laughs> and yeah, I look forward to seeing your purchases. And like I said, this is um, um, the last outfit of the week and I just had to do it, which I'm sure you can understand. So like I said, if you enjoyed this, uh, what I wore this week during quarantine time, well, the easing of lockdown or quarantine, then please leave a comment below and please do like, and I will see you next time.